Hey there, Mission Control. Well, tonight we're going to be doing a little experiment. Um, because we have our aquaponic beds down into the ground, um, which is different than many of the folks that do aquaponics, they have their beds up higher. Um, the reason they have theirs up higher is they can take advantage of gravity to uh, pull the fish manure, the fish waste and everything out of the fish tanks and then move it into the grow beds uh, or their filter system. So for us, we chose to put the uh, fish tank down the ground, heating, space, those are key things, uh, insulation. Um, so that gives us a challenge. Now we have to use a pump to get the fish waste up out of the bed uh, and uh, into the, the grow bed, or I'm sorry, out of the tank and into the grow bed where the little red wigglers that we have in there can eat the waste, create some compost tea or worm tea, and that leads to even healthier plants. So the challenge is, I mean, you could go get a vacuum and vacuum it out like a normal pond, but we're on the Real Martian channel and we're not gonna do that. So, subscriber idea. Uh, this is a small hydroelectric generator. And I have a new valve system that's been put in. And it just so happens if I have this piece right here, it screws onto this piece just like, oop, it has directionality. It screws onto this piece just like this. And I can put this up into the new valve system, like a so. And I can plug it in. I found a small pond pump that may be just enough to, uh, if when the uh, bed drains, the water will come out of the bed through the hydroelectric generator. Power will be generated, 12 volts, going down to the pump. The pump is connected via food grade tubing. And we'll bring this back up into the bed. And this is just an experiment. I mean, just to see, I, I think it will work. Uh, the real question is, will this generate enough power? Uh, it should, it's supposed to. Uh, so we'll see. Find out, I guess. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna get up underneath of here. Got new, right, like so. Good news is it fits beautifully. Almost beautifully. Why is it not threading right? Different types of threads. Oh, no, there she goes. Okay. Darn plumbers like to have all these different kinds of thread. Just pick one already. Okay. Just probably want to pinch that up top there since not really waterproof yet since this is just a prototype. Experimental unit here. Okay. Uh, I got that. Down in the water. Look. If I disconnect this, then the valve will open and water will start to flow. Well, that's interesting in the not so exciting kind of way. Yeah, it ain't going. Not enough. Now there's a whole bunch of water up on top of that, but for some reason, it just does not want to generate. That says 55 volt. That makes me think that they doinked me and didn't give me what I asked for, which was a 12 volt system. Well, let's go. That's totally not cool. All right, so I'm thinking something's wrong with this thing because I'm blowing on it and you should hear a little turbine. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Oh, but it doesn't work very well. Yeah, something's wrong with it. A little surgery here. 
All right. Taking the parts off there. there go. So that is supposed to spin and generate our power. But it really didn't want to. There's our O-ring. Huh? Keep it all sealed up there. It says water flows that way. That means it should go on like that. Boy, that thing kind of just kind of sucks. I don't think this is very well designed. Oh, you got to have a lot of weight behind that to make it spin. All right, so now I got it put back together. It works better. Let's check and see how many volts it gives. I'm going to blow in it. Oh, not even a volt, and I'm like giving it all I got. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Well, you gotta try things. Uh, I didn't know what type of resistance uh, this would require, and when I bought it, I don't, I don't recall seeing any head pressure that it stated on there. But man, you gotta, you've got to really. just to even get it to spin a little. I have no idea how they expect you to get five. It says five volts, I ordered a 12 volt, but oh well. So there's an, a, a, a successful failure, right? Learned that this won't work, but the concept seems to still be good. So I ain't willing to give up on it yet. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside, gonna look a little bit more information about this guy here, see what we can figure out and uh, come up with plan B. So, hope you enjoyed this quick little experiment. It was kind of fun putting it together. Uh, if you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian.